How's it going guys? You're watching the Nomadic Hacker. I'm going to do part two on locks that I use. This is a Master Pro Series 745, 7045. It's a guard shackle, boron alloy. So what I use to lock up my trailer. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, I have not put that one back together. This is a... I'm doing this video for two reasons. One, that would be cool for people to see. And two... I have these sitting out in the weather, and so I figured it'd be good to service them, ensure that they still work. I did go through and find the right hex key for this before I started, so I wasn't fishing around for it during the video. You're welcome. Alright, there's that. There's the screw. All right. I need a, where's my stabby pokey thing? Where's my stabby pokey thing? Get you off. Get the core out. Let me get a, a light down in there. Yeah, that's, that's pretty grimy down in there. That core doesn't look the cleanest. So the way I have this locked, the way it attaches on the trailer, it sits like that. So not exactly the best <laughs> because all the water and everything will drain right down into the into the keyway. So <clears throat> figured I'll service it. And while I'm at it, I can show you a pinning on here. It'll come off easier than the last one. So, um, showed you that one in the last video. This one, I know I've got some crazier stuff in. And this key isn't quite 100%. That's the other reason I want to service this lock, because it's, it's not one to turn all the way. It's kind of a, a point where it's... It can it goes in and then it doesn't turn quite right. Can I kind of get it just so? Give me a second here. Get this key to turn. There we go. I got that turned. Now, tail piece on this is the same as American Lock. I really need to get a better set of followers. Really, I should just take one of these followers I have. This is out of like some telescoping something <clears throat> but you can get a bunch of different size of tubes out of like like the telescoping like like fire pokers or whatever different <clears throat> different things like that that have a bunch of different size tubes i should really just take one of take one of these and like chop a section out of it so it can fit over there but <clears throat> i haven't done that so We're just going to do it like the last one and use the follow, use the core as my follower and got it like that and hope things don't go terribly wrong. And we're going to try to keep it in frame. Oh, gosh. Well, there we go. Pin driver number Five is a commercial spool, brass spring. Oop, they just sprunged. I rewatched the video I did on on that, and I called it a called it a Master Lock Eleven Hundred, which is correct and incorrect. I mean, Master Lock does lo own American, but it's not technically correct. All right, so position four is another commercial spool. Spring's not breaking the shear line. That's okay. Ha! There we go. So I can, like, stop being a Butterfingers and dropping these pins everywhere. All right, position three is a custom spool. Got a real short... Sure, right there at the end, and then two more in case you want to really overset it. 
And I should move these over. So this is a five pin lock. And let's move that over so you can actually see what I'm doing. You have these in the wrong slots. All right, <clears throat> position number two is another commercial spool. That's not going to focus unless I get my hand up there. There you go. Commercial spool in two. And one. Pop that out. Oh, wait. This is a six pin lock. Who am I kidding? I know what lock I'm taking apart. Goodness. All right. So it was six, five, four, three, two is another commercial spool. One, if you shall focus. Come on. Come on. You can focus. There it is. Got to be a little farther away. There's a T pin. Okay. A lot more shenanigans in this one. Okay, so yeah, yeah, it is. it's it's six pin. I have them all populated because I mean I should know this is a six pin key. All right, so five, um, five, six is a standard. Five is a standard. Get those aligned. Four. Is a standard three. Come on, I know I did some. I must have done something nefarious in the on the key pins. It's just not like me. Two is a standard. Come on, one. Oh, one is one is a standard. I might have to fix that. That's not okay. Can't have all standard key pins. Yeah, this is uh, this is really grimy. So I'm gonna clean this up and uh, check all these springs. Just knock all those out of there. I don't know what position these were. It doesn't really matter for our purposes here. There is a variety. Gosh, I still need to demagnetize these stupid tweezers. That's obnoxious. Okay. Screw it. <laughs> All right. Except for that. You, you at least need to be up there. I mean, if you're not in the right spot. All right. So all standard key pins. T pin in one. Commercial spool in two. Commercial spool in three. Um, custom serrated. But they're pretty deep serrations in some of them, so they might out actually act almost like a spool element. Commercial spool in four, I mean five. Commercial spool in six. Clearly not used to disassembling six pin locks. But yeah, so yeah, I thought while I was taking this guy apart and cleaning out all the gunk, uh, I'd show you the, the pinning I have on some of my uh, locks that I actually haven't surfaced. That one was American 1100 was locking up the propane on my trailer and the uh, Master Pro Series 7045 was locking up the uh, um, actual hitch on the trailer. So yeah, I thought that was interesting and if anyone else wants to share locks that they have in service that they have custom pinned, I'd love to see them. Feel free to tag me in it. I'd love to see it. So yeah, Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.